Okay, so here's your um, your mini rev counter. Just going to show you how to uh, remove the needle. And, um, I appreciate it's a bit tricky to do this, so um, so I've done a few of these, so it's a bit easier. Um, you now have to be really careful with the needles. Um, with a Gen 2 mini, luckily, it's kind of on a stop anyway. Um, it goes around and sticks here at zero. Uh, but still, you've got to be careful when you're taking the needle off so it doesn't cause any damage to the motor internally. Um, obviously it gets expensive if you need one of those. So really anyway, um, if you can, um, hold the, ne the needle as best as you can there. So that's some stability while you put the screwdriver in underneath. Um, some people use um, uh, uh, forks to slot in that way. Um, the only thing with that is if it slips, it goes forward, you can gouge your face, it can gouge through um, the circuit board so the best thing I find is using a flat bladed screwdriver so again hold there if you can pop lift the needle up slightly as it goes in and what you want to do you want to kind of twist the screwdriver um, like, like that really uh, while at the same time lifting the screwdriver and that really helps the, um, the base of the needle come off the spindle of the motor. So again, just hold hold that steady, get your screws off just underneath there. You do have to lift the needle slightly, you can see the distort there. Um, get it in there anyway and twist and pull and it comes straight off like that. Once you've done what you need to do, i.e. lights or faces, um, what you need to do is before you put the needle back on, connect it back up to the car and um, what that will do is once you put your key in the ignition it will re- uh, Resynchronize the motor um, to zero just in case you've when you've pulled it you've moved the spindle slightly um, and then what you do is once you've connected it to the car heard the motor sometimes leave it about five ten seconds disconnect the uh, the rev counter once you've took the ignition off um, pop your needle on the spindle the best thing I would I do is put the needle on zero there hold it and look underneath and make sure you just put it on slightly onto the spindle um, so like that slightly now don't push it all the way down um, connect it back to the car see where the motor stops if the needle isn't on zero because you haven't pushed it down all the way yet it's easy to put the screwdriver back in and lift it back off again um, obviously if it is set at zero um, just push it fully home. Another way to make sure it's on zero as well is to um, once you've connected back to the car start the car up and rev it up a little bit then turn the engine off and that needle should go back to zero um, and like I say once it's uh, it's all right push the needle fully home and then it will be uh, all right for you.